Hmm. Well, you just knew I'd be back here again, didn't you? So the light came back on. We now have a new secondary water pump to fit on the Audi. Let's get her jacked up. Phase one, up in the air. Track stands under. Let's get this bottom panel off. There you go, a little bit of light in the situation. That's the offending item, which is the secondary water pump. So I'm going to clamp off those pipes, release the clips. There's three screws there, which are tiny little, you know, look like hex. And uh, yeah, get the new one on. Light's going fast, so better get a move on. And of course, what is so typical of Audi's is they're such a bugger to get to. Um, they're the little screws. Oh, I'm focusing. They're the screws, tiny little things with a tiny little hex bolt on the end. So what I've got is small mole grips, well, with pipe clamps, and one of those hex heads, or star heads, whatever you want to call it. It's one of those anyway. But yeah, they're right pain in the backside to get into. Oh well, struggle on. So to get into them, especially that top one, not easy. So you have to give the noisy. You have to give the bracket a little tweak and that plastic pipe a little tweak too. Don't go mad because it's plastic and plastic breaks. And it's in the Audi, remember. But yeah, a little tweak. You can just about get in there. Well, there you go. All the screws are out. Um, it wasn't easy, but as you can see now, it's loose and free. So what I'm going to do is stick the clamps on the pipes. Uh, remarkably, they are rubber pipes. <laughs> there you go, Audi. Um, and then change it over. Let's get on with it. Small little tip for you, get some of these clip pliers. They're brilliant. You just do that and do that. So you just skinning your knuckles. Well, there you go. Not too much mess, but it's flowing into my work area. <laughs> get out. Get out water. There you go. Um, so obviously uh, the electrical cable to come off as well, but that is it. And um, with these clamps on, it's done the trick. Hasn't spilled too much water. And uh, there you go. There's the offending item. Um, it doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be broken, but um, I'm going to do an autopsy later just to find out. But there you go. That's all it is. Secondary water pump done. Seems to be working, but check engine light kept coming on. Now all we do is rinse and repeat. Can't bore you too much. These pliers just make things so much easier. Look at that. Boom. How easy is that? You know, not using vice grips, not messing about, not skinning your knuckles, just straight in there. I love it. So there you go, pump in place. Not the worst job I've ever had to do on an Audi. Uh, just a bit tricky, but uh, yeah, access isn't great. You kind of got to bend this bracket back a bit to get to the top bolt. Uh, it is a bit tricky, but there you go, got it in. Uh, probably took me around about an hour, I guess. So I'm going to clear the codes first, just make sure it's working okay, and then we'll get the bottom panel on, get it back on the floor again, and uh, call that a job done. Right, so let's crank up VCSD. Ignition on, turn the lights off, we don't need those. Make sure we're. Uh, oh, we don't need that either. God, Jesus. Right, <laughs> as I was saying, just do a quick test on the USB, make sure we're connected. Yeah, we're good. Right, let's go to the control modules. Let's go to the engine. I know some of you guys are right code junkies, so you want to see the codes connected to this. So there you go, two fox found, call up pump 2. So P261A 000 open circuit. So in theory, we're going to clear that now. Clear codes. Yep. No fault code found. Now, that did kind of happen the last time. 
when I cleared the codes because the the water pump what it does the secondary one anyway it carries on after the engine is stopped so it still circulates the water when the engine is stopped I guess to stop it overheating I guess for hotter climates um, so I'm pretty sure I fixed it but um, at the moment we've got no fault codes um, so I'm happy with that the new parts on I'm gonna button it all up put it back on the floor and uh, we'll see how we progress over the next couple of weeks or so let's hope we uh, we haven't got to go in there again but uh, it's a new OEM part so we should be good so there you go run it uh, a few times stopped it and started it and done all the things that triggered it before nothing on the dash let's have a quick check of VCDS and it says no we're done so there you go not a particularly exciting video but the job that had to be done so if you've got a secondary water pump problem um, with the code I forgot what it is but it's in the video um, there's how to fix it. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. Catch you later, YouTube.